Good evening everyone, time for another Bitcoin report. We are trending higher and as I said in the last report I received my funds for from Douala or into Douala and I got those transfer order to Mt. Gox and then uh, I was going to buy if we had a breakout above the trend line which we did so I went ahead and bought and uh, just a small amount because uh, I didn't put a lot of money in there just something to play with you can see that we are trending higher now that we've gotten through this line this in my opinion is the appearance of a classical bull market it's not unusual to see a type of breakout like this where you get a correction such as this magnitude if we go back to the daily chart it becomes more obvious you can see that the correction came back really just about to the old support almost not quite if we draw a straight line so that's a pretty standard bull type move you can see if we move back to this one and that's what I like about the Sierra chart software is we can move back and then our percentages change you can see this one didn't have quite the pullback that the one we're on had this one really only pulled back about a third little more than a third and then if we scroll back farther to some earlier ones you can see we got about a third pullback there and then I've already covered the one that we had at 50 cents and that was obviously a really dramatic pullback so it's really pretty much following a standard bull market scenario I know a lot of the critics have come in and said that it's a crash and that it's all over now but really the fundamentals in the chart doesn't support that at all we're still on an obviously increasing volume trend you can see a pretty strong increasing volume trend that's more money coming in and buying bitcoins which isn't surprising I took notice when we first had this move right here reason being that it came to my attention I actually had someone that I work with who pointed out to me a number of months ago and I said I would investigate it and then of course because I have a silver channel in the silver community I had noticed a lot of the controversy about da Vinci and his following of bitcoins and all the people attacking him for it but I really didn't have the time to examine it for myself and now that I have examined it for myself I'm pretty much convinced that it is the real deal and that it's going to move a lot higher I think the price is pretty much an indication of the validity of the concept as more money pours in that's going to be a confirmation that the Bitcoin idea works and that it it's valid and that, uh, that although there's some flaws those will probably be fixed so we had the recent scandal well it's hitting the news I won't call it a scandal but revelation that this person all in vain lost half a million dollars in bitcoins there's some debate on the forum now as to whether or not this person is real or a plant to try to discredit bitcoin I'll leave that as it is and let you make up your own mind but I wanted to jump over to the Mt. Gox site and show you what we've got trading I don't think this refreshes automatically so you have to refresh yeah we're up to 17.66 we're 17.66 ask to 17.3 bid now 
for those of you who traded markets, that's not a very tight spread, but I've noticed watching the spread that it, it tends to tighten up real close and then it widens out. It's obviously not the most liquid market, but it's becoming very liquid. You can see that my account has 6.16 bitcoins in it. Uh, if you remember, I deposited $99, and if you go to account history, you can see how my fills occurred. I'm not really sure what system they use. I think they just try to use the best fills, but it's pretty interesting that I have exactly $0. So it's a more efficient system than stocks or futures, which is really surprising. It... Uh, it bought me all the bitcoins I wanted. You can see my fill prices. I got filled at 15.95. That's the low fill, and I got filled at 16.07. That's the high fill. So it looks like it was pretty active at that time. So I'm pretty pleased with it. I have at least a toehold in this market. Not being an early adopter, it's difficult to get involved in something but I've learned from silver that you just have to jump in and buy and get a position and then you can trade from there so I'm gonna be tempted to try to trade the technicals and sell the spikes and buy back in but as I pointed out on my silver channel in the studies with Jesse Livermore, etc., that that can be a very dangerous thing because a market can run away without you. So I'm probably going to do something more like trade with a portion of the position rather than trade the entire position in and out because if the market does run away, I don't want to be left out. Now, it's fortunate that the market trades 24 by 7 365 so that gives you an opportunity to get in and out all the time which is just fantastic but uh, you want to make sure that you back up your stuff and that's why I'm going to jump over to the next topic which is the TrueCrypt software and I just wanted to run through that real quick so that uh, people could see how to do that it's a real simple free open source encryption program and what you do is you download it and I'm going to download the Windows version because that's what I'm running save the file it's just a small file and double click on it and run Go ahead and install it. I'm just going to put a desktop icon. Actually, I'll do that for all users. And I don't need a restore point at this point. So we will install the software, and once it's installed, interesting. Okay. Hmm. Let's try that again. I don't know why it can't find a file that it's trying to install. Cannot find the file specified. TrueCrypt driver. Okay. Well, I guess I'll have to do that on the next one. I actually downloaded and installed it. And, and then I uninstalled it so that I could w do a walkthrough on this. And so it's that's probably what screwed it up is doing the uninstall. So I'll have to do a reboot and reinstall it, do it the next time. But basically, it is a piece of software that allows you to create these encrypted volume files, and then you can mount them, and then you can put things in them, set a password to them, and then you can dump them wherever you want and it's something you can put your wallet in that only you have the password to. This is a post on the forum where a gentleman came up with 
a way to a very complex way to back up your stuff but it's a real hot topic on the forum because of all in veins post and people are worried about it I'm not gonna give an opinion as to whether or not all in vain is legit or not you can see this thread where a conspiracy gentleman researcher and I'm a conspiracy researcher as well so I take what this guy says pretty seriously but all in vain has a pretty good explanation for why he did what he did but there's a lot of suspicious stuff so I suggest you read this and make up your own mind it's kinda weird that somebody would have 25,000 bitcoins and would would just have them open and running on a Windows box and have been in mining from the very beginning but not know civil encryption to protect them so I don't know he posted some screenshots seems to be legit but very unfortunate for him if that happened because it's uh, it's something you can't get back. Now there have been a lot of suggestions by people that that the system should have changes made to it so that he can get his coins back and people have suggested that they take that address where they know they were sent to and that be blocked etc 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 but I think the majority of the community has come out and completely oppose that idea because it pretty much fights against the entire system itself once you have the ability to draw back transactions like you have in PayPal and it's going to end up being just like PayPal so I think this is good in the long run it's going to make a lot of people be very cautious and be very educated about how to protect that wallet dot dat file and keep their bitcoins from being robbed so it looks like we are in a rally phase my prediction based on the swing rule is going to be if this is forming into a cup and we do follow the swing rule then the next rally should take us based on this high of 32 and this low of 10 that gives us a $22 swing so that should put us at $54 on the next run so I'm expecting to see after the cup is formed which may take maybe my prediction would be on the size of this cup maybe or the beginnings of this would be about two weeks and then looking for a breakout through 32 and then a run to 54 and we'll talk to you next time